Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And this is the first multi-box unboxing for 2024 that I have. I've just had a shortage of boxes and I've also been short on time. So for a little while we were just doing a box every other day, but now I'm finally back on track. And I do have enough of the smaller boxes that really just have maybe one to three items in them to do what I usually call a mashup. And we've been in the past few months doing midweek mashups, so usually they fall on a Wednesday. Today I actually just have two subscriptions to share with you, so I'm doing it on a Tuesday, and we're going to call it Two for Tuesday. So I have both Anchor of Hope box to share with you, as well as a Mint Mongoose jewelry subscription box to share with you, and let's go ahead and get started. As much as possible, I will try to leave the timestamps below if you want to skip around, but of course I always really appreciate when you are able to watch the videos in their entirety. It definitely helps my channel out without costing you anything, of course, as same as goes for all of those likes and comments. Those all really help my channel out as well. I will also in the description box leave for you any referral codes that I have that will save you a little bit of money if you want to subscribe to either of these boxes. So the first one that we are going to start with is Anchor of Hope box, which I have been getting on and off for pretty much since the beginning of my channel. They always send you three beautiful items made from artisans around the world. And what's really great about this box is the mission behind it because they are supporting survivors of human trafficking and refugees. Uh, some of them that live in the United States now and are working to earn a living wage and some that are throughout the world and that are trying to bring up their children in a safe and productive way. So I think it's just a great box. I'll read to you a little bit more about it in just a moment. I do have have a discount code for you. It's Noel 10 and that'll actually save you 10% not just on the subscription box but also in their online artisan shop where you can find some really beautiful items. The box itself is $36 per month so you're essentially paying about $12 per item because there's always only three items in there plus $6 in shipping. I do think they still have their deal where you can get a three month subscription for just $99 so that definitely drops the price down by about $3 per box which is nice so that's a good way of supporting a good company. So inside they always include this information that is who we are and what we do. And then we have this product sheet, which they have designed it now. So if you want to, if you're going to re-gift any of these items, you can actually cut this strip out that talks about where it came from and who made it. So I think that is a nice touch. It says giving any of these items as gifts, cut out the section about the item you're giving so your gift recipient can learn about their gift's impact. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so these are some beautiful items. They've been really good about upping their um, social media presence too in the past year. All right, so we have some reusable facial rounds that were actually made in Moldova. That's pretty cool. So we always like to be a little bit green, right? Recycle when we can. And then this is a nice little travel bag that you can take these in. So it says these muslin reusable rounds are the perfect addition to any beauty routine, washable and reusable, used to apply toner, remove makeup, and more. After each use, wash and lay flat to dry. Each set includes seven rounds. So it's kind of this nice like waffle texture. And it's great because it's dark, right? Right? You know, when you go to a hotel and they have that special makeup removing washcloth and it's always a dark color because they don't want you staining their nice white washcloths. It says, and then of course we have the storage bag. It says each set creates empowering work for women in Moldova and helps to break the cycle of poverty and exploitation. So uh, usually when you get a reusable round, I feel like it comes in a mesh bag that you can just use like a delicates bag in the, in the washing machine. Um, I'm, I don't have the patience personally, of course, to hand wash these. So I'm assuming that I could probably just pop these into one of the delicate bags that I have and then wash them and then pop them back into here. I might actually give them a quick iron if I already have my ironing board out just so they're nice and flat, but I kind of like that they do have a little bit of texture to them. So I feel like that's really going to help and especially when you're using it for like cleanser um, or toner or something. So that's pretty cool. And it's pretty cool that they came all the way from Moldova and you guys know me. I love my classic black. All right, so then in addition to that, kind of to go along with the self-care theme, we got this winter solstice bath soak in sweet orange and eucalyptus. Nice. So I am not a bath girl, which most of you know already if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, but these bath salts often work really great as shower steamers if you just kind of scatter them along the ground, especially when they have nice uh, refreshing spa scents like eucalyptus. So I might do that. My husband has gone through like almost all of my showers 
steamers. Now we're sort of like slowly rolling them out. For a while I was like, use them all as much as you want. And now I'm like, save some for me. <laughs> In fact, I think I'm going to actually subscribe with my FabFitFun subscription so I make sure that I have shower steamers all the time. All right, so it says, um, this is made in the U.S. The winter solstice bath soak is crafted in the U.S. by our refugee artisans and features a blend of sweet orange and eucalyptus essential oils with Epsom salts. Refugee women from all around the world who are rebuilding their lives gather together to make this bath soak at the Hands Producing Hope Workshop. So those two, these two companies are um, combined, essentially. They used to be separate, and then Hands Producing Hope kind of acquired uh, Anchor of Hope. It says, um, it was an obvious co collaboration, right? It says, in addition to income, they gain English practice, mentoring, and community. So that is very cool. All right. And then finally, we have these beautiful salad hands. Look at these that they're inlaid with uh, metal and maybe bone. I'm not sure. So these are really, really cool. I love anything with wood grain. These are handmade in India. It says these salad hands are ethically handcrafted from sustainably harvested mango wood. That's why it's so pretty in North Central India. The elegant inlay and features a crescent features a crescent moon handcrafted from ethically sourced bone and stars handcrafted from gold finished brass the art of traditional indian woodcraft requires mastery passed on through generations to create intricately hand carved treasures from blocks of mango wood so you can see with the light shining on how the wood itself is really really glossy and beautiful it's showing a little bit warmer on the screen than it is in real life but i just think it's really neat so what does it say crescent moon and, and it is bone that's what i read sometimes i read it and i like forget what I read. So this is actually by a company called Modern Boomy, which we used to get a lot of Modern Boomy items in um, like Globe Inn, for example, and some other lifestyle boxes. I always really like their products. So it's just the inlay on the one side, but really, really beautiful to use. So also just kind of like a nice decor thing in your kitchen, I think personally, you know? All right, you guys, that was our Anchor of Hope box. So I we got these beautiful salad hands, our winter solstice bath soak made by the Anchor of Hope box artisans. We got our reusable rounds made in Moldova, seven of these with the little travel bag as well. And now moving on to our mint mongoose, which comes of course in a mailer bag. It's usually kind of a minty color. And then inside there's always this envelope. And then she's always got this nice, um, postcard that tells you a little bit about the inspiration. It's always authored by Helena, who is the owner and creator behind Mint Mongoose. So Mint Mongoose is uh, $29.99 per month. You always get two pieces of jewelry. You tell them when you first sign up if you prefer gold, rose gold, or silver finishes. And uh, I do have a code for you. It's Noel50, Noel50, and that will save you 50% on your first set, which means that you will be getting that for just $15 essentially, which is pretty good for two pieces of jewelry. And unlike a jewelry rental subscription, these items are yours to keep. So let's go ahead and dive into this envelope and see what we've got. Uh, the crows outside my window are going kind of crazy. I don't know what's happening. Sometimes I open this ahead of time because sometimes the seal is like pretty intense. <laughs> I think I was trying to stop myself because always included, it's like always this fun little treat. She always includes a Werther's original, which like I swear sometimes like that's the thing I'm the most excited about when I get this little envelope in my in my mailbox. So the theme, can you guess what the theme is from the postcard? It says, here we come, life. All right, here we come, life. I guess we're referring to life. So everything's wrapped up in this mint tissue paper. I usually use some scissors so that I can get into things a little bit quicker because I feel like they use like a little glue stick to seal up the tissue paper. And sometimes, sometimes that is the like most challenging part about this unboxing it says this month's set is inspired by the energy you get when you start something fresh and I think lots of us are starting something fresh in the new year right so in the in the voice of Helena so we have our two separate packages usually it's an earring and a necklace but you can always let them know if you don't have pierced ears or if the recipient if you're giving this as a gift does not and they usually have an alternative item so I always get the gold um, sometimes when I see the spoilers on social media and I haven't seen a lot of that lately um, sometimes I'll say oh that design might look better in silver but I always forget to actually change it but I think that as a subscriber you probably be able to change it if you're kind of like looking to diversify I think you might even be able to just do like surprise me and they'll send you one of those three jewelry tones each month so 
Our six-year-old Emerson has recently been obsessed with paper airplanes. He makes all sorts of different ones and then flies them until they can't fly anymore. I used to love making paper airplanes too, and some people were like really good at it, like like paper airplane engineers. It says, then he makes another and repeats the process. It's been going on for weeks. When I asked him why he loves playing with them so much, he replied, because they start as just a piece of paper and then they can go anywhere I want. Then I can do it all over again until I run out of paper. Hey, that's how I feel about travel, right? Except the paper is the money. <laughs> I can go wherever I want and then I run out of money and I can't do it anymore. It says, I love that and I thought it was a beautiful symbolism of how, my, how myself and as, as an adult views obstacles I want to overcome and goals I'm trying to meet. The only difference is that I'm not limited by the amount of paper I have, but rather the different perspectives and solutions I can come up with. Hmm. That's a good way of looking at it instead of from a money-based point of view like I was. It says, sometimes as we... All we as humans need to have a revitalized perspective is knowing that there is a new beginning coming. The new beginning is that is upon us now is the new year. Man, I'm having a hard time reading right now. So gold chain, you can see there are, wow, there's three, four extender holes there. Um, so you can go with a little bit of a shorter chain length, which I think is great. I think what she's been doing is just making a longer extender chain because for me, a lot of the times the chains were a little bit too chunky for the pendants and then, or they were a little bit too long. And I felt like if you wanted it to be a statement, long necklace that went over your blouse, it needed to be a stronger, bigger pendant. So I did suggest a while ago that she do more varied, uh, chain lengths or make that one of the customizations when someone first signs up. And she did promise, I think that was over a year ago, but I think the solution has been that now each of the necklaces has a little bit more versatility in terms of length, because I think we used to only get three of these stoppers instead of four. So now you get like a more traditional uh, 16 inch option. So you're like, can I please see the pendant? You can, you can, my friends. All right. It almost looks like a, like, hmm. I'm not sure what does that resemble. It kind of looks like an almost like an upside down fleur de lis. There's like two at the top and one at the bottom. I'm guessing it is supposed to look like an airplane based on the inspiration. Hmm. And mine is just a white colored uh, gem or rhinestone in there, but it is looking like, and you can see the little mint mongoose or the mongoose there on that disc on the extender chain. Uh, it looks like in the image, there might be some different jewel colors depending on your jewelry tone. So let me keep reading. It says, uh, a pattern that I've noticed in my life is that resolutions can be hard to keep and lead to disappointment. What's work better for me are mindset shifts that result in natural change. Thinking about why I'm doing the XYZ thing that I no longer want to do and finding the root of motivation behind it helps me attack it from a different angle. For me, this is proven more effective. So absolutely, instead of saying, you know, I'm not going to eat this thing, just saying that you want to be more mindful in your eating habits, perhaps. Now, the earrings do come with a little uh, rubber stopper, which is nice, but they're usually just uh, J-hook earrings. And in this case, they are the exact same pendant and size as the necklace. Sometimes it's like a little variation on the style or design. Sometimes it is um, a little bit smaller or bigger, but this time around you can see I'm holding the earring here in my left hand, and then here this is the necklace. So it's the exact same pendant, but let me just hold the earrings side by side for you now. And I always, when I open this up, I have like one of the earring backings like kind of skittering across the floor because they do bounce. It says the gems in this necklace are meant to resemble an airplane surging forward and encourage you to let the clouds and birds or rips if we're talking about paper airplanes drift out of the way. Oops, sorry guys. It says, or clouds, how about clouds? Get those clouds that are your obstacles out of the way. When you wear this set, I hope you feel as limitless as you truly are, that thinking outside the box lands you exactly where you want to be, doing exactly what you want to do. Now, I don't necessarily think these look like airplanes. I, I'm not sure what what they look like but um I don't think airplane when I think these but they are kind of pretty I just I like the simplicity of having a gold edge you know with just the rhinestones in the center let me see it looks like with the rose gold you might have gotten some uh like red and then with the silver it looks like you might have gotten blue this one is actually there are actually little gold 
um, circles in the points of each of those three pieces. So you probably can't see it, but there you go. See the very bottom of that point? It's actually a yellow stone. So in the rose gold variation, it was a red stone, which really does stand out in the image. And in the silver, very appropriate for the silver, it was a blue stone. And again, that stands out a little bit more than the gold because the gold or the yellow up against the gold edging, it, you, you kind of miss it. You kind of lose that. So I do wish that the color was a little more pronounced or that she'd done maybe like the green with the gold or a green with the gold, none of them had a green. So something that stood out a little bit more so that you could see that little rhinestone because I honestly didn't even see it until she mentioned it. Again, I don't think it looks like an airplane. I, I, <laughs> I'm not sure what it looks like, but not an airplane. But you guys, let's have a secret password. Let's have it be airplane. So when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you wanna enter it along with your contact information in the Google form, linked for you in the description box below. And then five days into the following month, so somewhere around February 5th or 6th, I will use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you for watching my videos in their entirety and really listening for those secret passwords. You have to be 18 years or older, you have to have a US or Canadian mailing address, and you do have to be subscribed to my channel. It doesn't have to be publicly I can always double check with you via email um, but just as a reminder you do also have to I think I said be 18 years or older but also have a Canadian or US mailing address so that I can send that to you with flat rate shipping my Canadian friends I think you know already but I do need a little help with the shipping because it gets a little bit pricey going all the way to Canada so here is our set from mint mongoose for January inspired by airplanes and the idea of um, not necessarily setting re resolutions, but perhaps just shifting your perspective and letting the change come a little more organically, a little bit more naturally. So I like that idea. I'm I'd like the, the whole like paper airplane and how she got to it. Like I, so I didn't quite follow all of that. I don't think that the necklaces and the earrings look like airplanes really. I do wish that the yellow was a little bit brighter or a different color on the gold sets because to me it just looks like that white rhinestone in there um, versus with the gold edging versus being able to see that little gold tip there. It would have been nice to see a little bit more contrast in blue or red or green, any of the colors. But you guys let me know what you thought about the set uh, and what you thought about both of these boxes. Did you have any favorite items? Are there any new things that you are trying or mindset shifts that you are working on for this year? And don't forget, there was a secret password. I think for this month, and we're all about, about to be done with this month, I think so far there's only been eight secret passwords. So make sure you go back and get all of those. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing. I hope that you enjoyed this two for Tuesday and hopefully I will have enough boxes to keep bringing you daily videos and maybe even some midweek mashups. I'll see you soon.